Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be uh, trying to collimate my 8 inch uh, Mead SET using Ocal's uh, 4.0. It's their version 4 of their Easy Collimator. Um, this is a pretty nifty little device. Um, so this will be my first time using it on this SET. Um, so stick around and you can tell me if I'm doing it right or wrong. Okay, so here we are with Ocal's um, collimation device hooked to the Mead 8 inch uh, Schmidt Castle Grain telescope. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in uh, just a little bit here. So give me just a second here to get this window uh, zoomed in. We're going to zoom in. As you can see, the primary mirror is just a little off. So let's get this back. Okay, I think that's where we need it. All right. So as you can see here, the green uh, circle and the blue circle are just slightly off from where they need to be. Now, the other day, it was really, really far off if you saw that video. And then I went through and I just uh, did it visually with my eyeballs out there uh, looking at the star calf the other night. So now we're going to try it with uh, Ocal's collimation device. And what we want to do is we want to get that green circle. We want to get this green circle shifted over to match somewhat center of this black dot here and this blue circle will be a little bit over. Now you can adjust those circles as need. You can make those bigger or smaller. I made them that size so it'll uh, be a little easier for me to see what's going on. So what we want to do is we want to find out which which screw is going to adjust the area first and it looks like since this screw is over here with the green ones, we're going to adjust this one. So we want to is either tighten or loosen this one. So we're just going to gently tighten it just a little bit, just a quarter of a turn to see which way it goes, and then we'll loosen the other ones. So we're going to tighten this one a little bit. Nope. And as you can see, the it moved it further over to the right. So what we're going to do is we want to loosen it just a little bit, just ever so slightly, a quarter turn at a time. All right, so that means I need to tighten this one just a little bit just ever so slightly. Look at that. See how easy that's adjusting? And then I need to tighten this one just ever so slightly. Okay, so now let's move back over here. Again, as you can see now, we've got some uh, dark ring on the... Uh, you can see where the we've moved the green line in a little bit, and that's what we want. We want concentric circles here. So we want to, again, we want to loosen this one up just a little bit quarter of a turn. You want to do very small turns, uh, very small increments. Tighten this one just a, a little, just a little bit. We want to get an even amount of black all the way around that green. And this is already looking super fantastic. If it's ever bit slightly too much, then just take a look at it. Now, I'm liking the way that looks. Now, I am not perfect. I'm not 100% uh, sure that this is perfect, um, but this is the way that I interpret how to use it. Um, and again, I've made those uh, circles to look the way I needed them to look. So I can adjust those circles. But the biggest part is, is I want to get, I want to get the concentric circle going here and so far that looks to be like it is it's making its way there that's a whole lot better than what it was um, yeah that's looking really good I'm thinking I, I think we're gonna maybe adjust it just a bit more on this side now let's see if we can do that so we're going to loosen this up just a little bit to draw it back over a little bit. Mm, too much. And it is just ever so slightly a change. Very small increments. I think that's good. I think we're going to go with that. We'll let that be because as you can see, 
everything looks like it's in the center. Um, I think that dot is in the center. I'm looking at it. I think I got that whole dot shifted over. Um, now what I want to try to do too is, is maybe look at this other dot here. Excuse me. We want to make sure that this particular circle is in the center. And maybe that's my mistake. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong is I think that I have this right, but I'm pretty sure that I've got the focus down just right. And I think um, there was, there's another way to, to get that to go, but I think I can, I think I can get that. Um, let's, let me see if I can bring this up here. Uh, we want to do a, let's do a window capture and let's see if I can get, uh, yes. So let's try this. Okay. So now that you can see the adjustments here, this will make the, the adjuster piece go, uh, let's see here. I gotta get to it first. Okay, here we go. So now I believe I can adjust the length of this bullseye area here. You can adjust the circles as needed as well. I don't really want to adjust the circles right at the moment. Uh, well, the blue was at 165, so I know I can go back. But see how you can adjust the circles as need. You want to make sure they're concentric. Now, what I'm worried about is, is I think I'm going to go off of this very big uh, black defocus dot um, and not this inner circle. Um, I believe it is this outer circle here. And I th think that's the reason, I think being because then I can go to here. Um, I don't know if you can see this window or not. Let me... Uh, there another when I hit this camera settings button, another window popped up, and I believe I can do the focus. So let's adjust the focus out a little bit, and you can see what I'm talking about. And you want concentric circles from the outer circle to the inner circle here, which is that green, and I think I've. I think that looks pretty good uh, and I really won't know 100% sure until we go test it on uh, a star or Jupiter or Saturn. But I think, I think I've done that right. Um, there's a video out there. This one's a little difficult to, it's not difficult. Uh, you just have to take the time to read the video, read the instructions and learn how to use it. Um, I've used this one in a laser collimator. But I, um, this one is the first time I've ever used it on a Schmidt and I want to use it on the Rasa because I adjusted my Rasa the exact same way I adjusted this the other week. And when I went and tested this the other day, you saw the video. If you haven't seen it, go out and see it. It's called Good and Bad Collimation where the video of Saturn had that, that, that blur off to the side. It was so far off. I think that uh, I adjusted the RASA the same way it did this. And if that's the case, then my RASA is way off and it's gonna have very bad pictures. So uh, I'm, I'm doing this today to test this out. I've never used it. I wanna show you how I'm doing it. And I think, I think we've got it right. Um, for those of you who have used this device, uh, if you've got some tips, some tricks, please let me know. If you think this is good or bad, please let me know so I can figure this out and we can figure it out together. But I, I think, I think this is good. I think I'm going to go with this. I think um, if you look at the individual circle there, I think it's pretty close to being right on the money. Um, if you match up the green, the green dot is center in here. This particular circle is centered there. Whether you focus it or defocus it, I think we're good. So um, I think we're gonna we're gonna go with that. So there we have it. Uh, we have finished with the Ocal um, Easy Collimator. 
Um, it's a pretty simple device. You just plug and play, um, download the program, follow the instructions, uh, and, and you can get it done. Um, again, thank you for watching. Please leave comments uh, down below uh, to tell me if I'm doing this right or wrong or if you like it or not. And um, uh, until next time, uh, clear skies. But also stay tuned because I think next week it's going to look good to where I'll be able to test this out uh, on Saturn uh, and see if it, uh, see if it helps. Thanks for watching.